can back it. Mastermind, mastermind. never try, never try. Tell them all. Tell them all. Big dreams, I got big dreams just like baby. I've been joining forces with the likes of an A team. Hello and welcome to Ashton Gate Stadium for tonight's historic match, Bristol Bears versus South Africa 15. The stadium is filling up nicely. It is going to be packed to the rafters here this evening and the atmosphere is going to be electric as we count down to kick off at half past seven. Well, I am pleased to have alongside me here in the Bears studio, I've got uh, Bears back row, Sam Jeffries joining me to kick off. Uh, welcome to you. I'm glad to have you alongside me this evening. Thank you very much for having me. Well, very polite of you. I know you are gutted to not be out there this evening to line up against international opposition. Uh, how are you, first of all, after picking up that awful injury, uh, just second game in of the season? Yeah, it was a frustrating start to the season for me personally. Um, I'm seven weeks post-op at a... Um, hamstring tear so I ended up having surgery on that so I'm uh, another nine weeks away from my return but um, obviously it's frustrating for a night like this especially when you're an injured player and you want to be out there with the crowd going um, what's going to be ex obviously an amazing experience for the players to, to obviously play against international caliber players. Yeah and sadly uh, you are no stranger to uh, recovering from an injury you took two years off almost uh, of your playing career and you've actually got a weird link to the spring box haven't you? Yeah, that's right. So um, about three years ago, I took a break from rugby, um, from professional rugby due to a kind of dehabilitating knee injury. And um, we actually looked into research of players who'd gone through something similar. And Juan Smith came up, who was the 2007 World Cup back row who player who actually won the World Cup that year. And he actually took two years out after the World Cup. And um, he actually found that period actually helped him with his time away from the game. And he actually came back and had a really successful period with Toulon and win, went, went on to win three Champions Cups um, coming back into the game. So we kind of modelled um, my return, my rehab plan based off what he did. And um, thankfully it played, worked out well for me to come back into playing. But it's unfortunate to have another injury again now. So It is another injury, but of a, a, a different part. We can see uh, the Springboks there uh, all lining up out, out in the uh, doing their pre-match preparations. And I think um, in terms of going into tonight, that excitement, around the, the team and the, and the HPC this week, the, it has gone up a notch, hasn't it? This idea of taking on international opposition in this, in this weird window break that we've got in the league. Yeah, and it's, it's a big... Um, this week we've kind of really focused on this week um, the energy that we can both give to the crowd and receive from the crowd, and it's been a big focus for us. You know, when we're playing against a team of this calibre, um, it's a really good step up for a lot of the players to play against international caliber players. So um, we were really keen to, you know, make sure we give them something for the crowd to, to feed the energy off, you know, whether that's through line breaks or defense. And then obviously we want to be able to feed off that energy ourselves as well. So it's going to be a really exciting um, event tonight. Yeah, well, we've just seen Joe Joyce there uh, vocally running across the field. Uh, I mean, what a proud moment for him, captaining his home side, uh, you know, the king of Southmead. Yeah, what a story. I mean... Uh, you know he's been driving a lot of it this week. Um, he's obviously super, you know, excited for this this experience. And also, you know, he's probably one of the most proud people out there tonight to be wearing that the Bristol Bears um, jersey. So so excited for him to have the opportunity against these guys. Yeah, and we will be hearing from him in a short while. Well, it has been a big week of preparation in both the camps. So let's take a look behind the scenes in the build-up to this huge night here at Ashton Gate. All right, uh, welcome back everyone. And um, I just thank everyone for their efforts last week. I think when you look at this game and where South Africa is as world champions, they have every reason to be at their best. I'm pretty confident that everyone's, uh, you know, just going off the meetings that I've had this morning, the, the different groups, everyone's buzzing for this week. The place has never, ever been as sold out as this. And I mean, everywhere. Um, and the interest in this game. There is no excuse for them not to be at their best. All right, so what an unbelievable challenge that we have. Yeah, to have it finally here and, and, uh, and to be involved in this Thursday night, it's, uh, it's something that's going to be pretty special um, from a club's point of view and uh, obviously a personal point of view, so I can't wait. To keep in mind this area, this is what's coming. 
penalty, pull the trigger in the corner. Okay? That's all they want. Yeah? So for us, discipline, physicality, and mindset are the two big things. Energy in the session, energy here now, okay? Energy at line speed, energy to stay alive, to connect, our movement. I want no drop off from block one to block four. And the niggle and everything that we bring is what we bring Thursday. We replicate it here, that's what we do Thursday. Yeah? Get energy, a buzz about us now, just fing not matched. Here we go. We're fortunate we got guys in this team that have uh, international experience and played at this level. You know, they're going to be a source of comfort source of um, you know, inspiration and help for a lot of the guys who are going out there who may not have experienced this sort of thing and, and we'll rely on them but ultimately they'll also rely on the energy that the guys who will be pumped and excited to play in this sort of game um, they'll be relying on them as well. It's something you kind of always dream of playing playing um, South Africa so yeah we're buzzing for it. You know, we always speak about it as a group, how privileged we are to be able to represent the community and um, the crowd that we always get, the support we get at Ashton Gate. Um, and it's going to be no different on Thursday night, and especially with the numbers that we're expecting to get down there, it's just going to be a brilliant occasion. Moore's twice, when everyone thinks the play's over, he's working like stop seven points, yeah? Things which... We sort of live by. We talk about feeding the bear, that's going to feed the bear. We can see the line break off. Oh, Mold works like all of a sudden the crowd are back up. Yeah, so just never say die, boys. Mistakes happen, can fight. As a team, a point on the team is just like if there is a mistake, making sure we flip the energy to come back each other up, uh, knock on or whatever. We get alive for that scrum. We don't compound mistakes, we flip it. Right. It's, not a, it's not about tactical and technical and all of that. It's, it is about, you know, if anything, it's about our culture. We know each other well. We understand how we can play this game, all right? But ultimately, you bring your excitement and your challenge. And as, uh, as, as Brian said, you know, just look after each other as we go through and you'll enjoy this game. The little battles will win this game. I love the behind the scenes. I never envy the editor having to bleep out the odd swear word and expletive through that. I mean, it was great and an insight. And I saw in there the player headshots. Is that how they announced the team this week in the barn at the That's HPC? right, yeah. So um, every week, it's um, that's how we, we have a team announcement, which is obviously the, the big moment for a lot of the players to find out if they're going to be involved. Um, and we do that in our barn. So um, obviously, that moment is quite, there's a lot of nerves for a lot of the players. And then they find out if they are involved. And obviously, for some of the young players, it's a huge moment when they finally get named on that team yeah. sheet. Well, talking of team sheets, Perfect segue. Let's have a look at uh, South Africa. I know you're looking forward to rattling through all the uh, pronunciations of yeah. the names. Um, I mean, South Africa, when we look at that lineup, I mean, it's South Africa. They're always going to have a, a huge pack. Yeah, that's right. So, I mean, you know, obviously that front row is obviously the, the bread and butter for their team. It's what gives them the good ball. So, um, obviously, Natutuku and um, Chunu, obviously, the, the loose head. Um, he's a, a huge player for them, as well as Andre Hugo Venta. And then, obviously, them having the captain, Thomas Dutoy. He's obviously their, their cornerstone for their, how they want to play. And, obviously, they're going to be up front. They're going to be a huge challenge. Yeah, I know someone just saw him in the tunnel, and he's actually as big as Joe Joyce, which is slightly terrifying. Yeah, yeah, they're a, a huge front row. Um, yeah. Definitely one to be watching out for. And one of the things, obviously, we should draw attention to, that exciting half-back partnership that we can see there we can either say Sasha and Grant or we'll go and Gomezelu and Williams <laughs> that's right and again um, they're going to be running the team and we know how South Africa want to play there they bring that physical edge to them in a good kicking game so um, they'll be running the team and obviously it'll be a huge challenge for both our nines and tens to match them tonight yeah and I, I guess pulling out the center Cornell Hendricks experienced player that's right you know he's probably one of the players that's had the most experience at the Texas level within this team so um, He's going to be a huge for them tonight. You know, he's the person that's probably giving them front football, um, and he's someone who's played at the top level for long periods of time. So it's great for our players to play against someone of his caliber. Yeah, I mean, obviously they've got speed on the wings as well. Uh, looking at their lineup, by um, Hartzenberg uh, and Zass there. That's right. And again, um, you know, that's their threat. Um, you know, South Africa are famous for that powerful game, but it's also the speed they bring in their top players. So you see all these players, you know, the way that Colby plays for the for the South African team as well. You know, these players model themselves on players like that. Well, let's uh, move on to the Bears team and, and how they line up. Obviously, we've talked about Joe Joyce uh, taking the captain's armband tonight. I mean, an incredible evening to lead it out. 
That's right, yeah, and it's a huge occasion for him. And also, you know, obviously the pack have got a huge, huge job to face up against South Africa today. So it's good to see Max Lahif back in the team. He's someone who obviously is uh, renowned for his scrummaging. So it's good to see him and have a huge challenge, um, both him and Jan Thomas, in holding out the South African front row as well. Yeah, well, looking through our side, I mean, what an experience for young Diego uh, and Joe Jenkins, obviously, on the bench as well. Of course, both of them featured in the uh, match against Cardiff last week. That's right. Diego Bailey and obviously Joe Jenkins, both two guys in our academy, have really stepped up the last couple of games and they've had an opportunity. And then those performances have, have granted them an opportunity to play against uh, South Africa tonight. So um, I'm super proud of them for the, the hard work they've put in to get to where they are. And then just balancing that, I guess we should mention that we have got some experienced internationals there. They're, of course, Sheedy in the back row and Magnus Bradbury for Scotland and, and Morahan for Australia. Yeah, and I think that's going to be crucial. Someone who's got that international experience obviously is going to be you know, be able to pass that on to the players and how to deal with um, you know, what's going to be a huge occasion and the biggest crowd that we've ever expected at Ashton Gate. Yeah, it is going to be an amazing evening uh, as it is filling up uh, out in the stadium bowl. We'll, uh, we've been talking about Joe Joyce a lot, who couldn't, of course, be more proud than leading out this team this evening against international opposition. We caught up with him earlier in the week. Welcome in the world champions at Ashton Gate. Obviously, playing an international team is, is unique. It's going down as a historic moment in the club's history. And to think that I've been a man leading the boys out as a local lad is a, is a special feeling. A lot gets said about being captain and stuff, but as long as everyone leads himself, uh, that's the way to do it. Just focus on leading yourself first. I've never played international rugby, so. To have that opportunity to play against top opposition World Cup champions, put yourself up against the best, whilst you've got the C next to your name, it's just a, it's an added motivation and it's a, it's a big test for myself and the team. I think the best thing about the South Africans, you know what's coming. Step one against Africans, you've got, to, you've got to match them in the physicality battle, so we'll be looking to try and get into them straight away. Uh, it's, it's a shorter week, I would say, it's a shorter week, obviously, it's a Thursday night game, which is rare for us, but we'll be given pure, uh, a lot of clarity this week, so we'll be going there just as prepared as any other game. Obviously, find out this pretty early in the year, so it's something we had to put on the, on the back burner for a bit. It's fun to be at game week, yeah, we're all buzzing and ready to do our fans proud. They certainly are buzzing, and let's hope they do do the Bears fans proud. It is time to go pitch side where we can find our commentator for the evening, Toby Osborne. He's caught up with Callum Sheedy. Callum, quite simply, what an occasion. How are you feeling ahead of this one tonight? Yeah, it's massive. Like you said, it's a huge occasion uh, for the club, for the city. Uh, we're all buzzing. Uh, change room's absolutely buzzing and, um, yeah, can't wait to get started. And, of course, it's an interesting one for you because you've got international experience. Is it a strange feeling in that you're kind of bringing your club mates along with you onto the international stage tonight? It must be quite exciting. Yeah, it's really exciting. I mean, it does feel like a test match. That's exactly what it feels like. Um, you know, you see the size of those boys. They're, they're huge. And, you know, if we don't match up uh, physical, physically, we're going to struggle. So um, it is a test match, that's what it is. Um, I know it's Bristol against South Africa, but it's a test match. And then, of course, this just shows how far the Bears have come since the, the rebrand, the Challenge Cup victory, all those playoff pushes as well. This is a, a big showcase tonight just to show how far the club has come. Yeah, it's massive. Um, yeah, I've been at the club eight years now, and when I came, we were in the championship, and like I said, we just couldn't get out of the playoffs, and now we're having 26,500 at Ashton Gate playing in the international side. It's, it's bonkers when you think about it, but um, I'll think about it over the weekend, but uh, for, for now, I'm just really excited to get stuck into to South Africa tonight. And finally, talking of getting stuck into South Africa, what are you expecting from the, from the first whistle? I think it's no secret that they'll, they'll be physically strong. Um, they'll have uh, some, some explosive backs there. You've got a couple, a couple of big centres. Their back three is very dangerous. Set piece orientated. So, listen, they're an international side. They're going to be well drilled, whatever they do. Um, like I said, phys physicality is going to be massive. If they win the physical battle, we're going to struggle. If we win it, we'll be right in the game. Well, Callum, we'll let you get on with your warm-ups. Good luck tonight. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Great to see him smiling. You can see how much he is looking forward to this. He said it feels like a test match, and that's what it is then. 
Yeah, and that's the you know the energy from all the squad um, perfectly summed up by Callum there. You know, everyone's so excited for what's going to be a huge challenge, um, and it's such an exciting week for the club. And I think you know that that's been the vibe at the HPC this week. Everyone in training has been really excited, but not just people who obviously get to go out on the field, but everyone within the organisation has been so excited for this week. Yeah, well, it is all about the opposition. So let's hear from them now. The man in charge of this South Africa 15 is coach Swandili Stick. Despite defeat uh, over in Ireland, you did say you were impressed with certain elements of the game, both offensively and defensively. Where do you need to tighten up tonight? I think last week, well, uh, we had to give compliments to our forwards. I think they gave us a, a good foundation in the game, you know, where they gave us a bit of a good momentum in the game. But we were guilty. We didn't convert that into points. You know, we had a lot of opportunities that we created in the game. But uh, I think today we're just going to need to be make sure that we we're clinical when it comes to finishing those opportunities. And Grant Williams, an impressive display for him, a new half-back partnership as well within Gomazulu. How do you see that shaping up tonight? And could they be knocking on the selector's door uh, for, for Test Match Rugby as well? Yeah, I'm excited to see those two boys, you know, no, especially uh, playing behind that pack, you know, uh, guys like Thomas Tutoy and uh, um, Kunu there, they really, really dominating the side pieces and doing well for us. So, uh, and the speed of Grant, you know, and, uh, and Sasha, boys that were, were also part of our system with the Springboks, you know, so I'm actually happy that they also get an opportunity now at the moment to showcase what they've got. You saw what happened last week when Grant came off the bench, massive impact into the game. So, yeah, excited and looking forward to it. Slightly nicer conditions to probably play rugby in tonight. You mentioned in your uh, your press conference uh, this week about that 6-2 split on the bench as well. What are you expecting from Pat Lamb's side tonight? Uh, you know, Pat Lamb with this philosophy, you know, New Zealanders, they want to keep the ball in hand. So that's going to be a big, big challenge for us today. That's why we've got that 6-2 sp uh, uh, split on the bench, you know, so that our forwards, when they get tired, at least we can have some fresh legs that can keep up with their pace. Well, stick, thank you very much and enjoy your night. Thanks a lot, man. Cheers, enjoy. There we have it, uh, fifth, just under 15 minutes to go until kick-off and the Bears there just making their final preparations down there. Uh, Sam Jeffries here alongside me watching this. I mean, in terms of that, I mean, he, Stick mentioned there that uh, these New Zealanders, they like to keep the ball in hand. It's always terribly exciting when we do. Yeah, and that's a big part of um, our attack, attacking philosophy at the club is that we have the ability to go through teams, around teams and over teams. So um, we hope to keep them guessing on how we're going to attack tonight. So that, you know, they're not expecting us to be running everything. Um, but of course, we've got to match them physically if we want to keep winning the ball. So um, it's going to be a huge test for our forwards and our forwards pack. And, you know, that's the big thing when you're playing against a huge South African team is that you're making sure you're getting quality ball for your backs. So talk us through what they're doing here in the moment. It's, it's in the final few minutes, isn't it? That's right, yeah. So they'll just be running through their phase play at this point, just making sure everyone's getting used to, you know, the the kind of the conditions and how things are going to work out this evening. And um, the players just getting their last few touches in here. So um, we kind of do this off a set piece and then they get, get into our phase play. It's interesting. You talk about the conditions. Stick had referred that the weather conditions are much nicer here than they were in Ireland. I don't know how long the rain is going to hold off, but it is, it is fairer weather there tonight. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, that's, you know, plays into our hands and how we want to play the game. We make sure it's, you know, clean ball is going to be good, fast. And, and, you know, the pitch is obviously in perfect condition here at Ashton Gate. So it's a, it's a great opportunity for the guys. And as we've said, it is a sellout crowd here. How big a difference? We've seen so many times in the final minutes of big derby games, how big a difference the crowd noise makes. But tonight it's bigger than any other noise. Yeah, and it's going to be definitely. And I think it's going to be awesome for the players. They're going to really feel off that energy. You know, when there's big moments and the, the crowd gets behind them, you hear the Bristol chant go, you know, it's going to really lift the boys. So... You know, I'm super excited for them to kind of feel that vibe. And this is the final huddle. We can see Pat Lamb there in the centre as they all gather round. Yeah, so this will be the last few messages, you know, they'll probably be just reflecting on that training run just then, just, you know, obviously where everyone's at mentally, making sure that the edge is there. Um, and then this will be the last moment before they probably run round and kind of build up that, that the, the um, atmosphere of every, all the crowd as they go into the tunnel. And who's, uh, who's the most vocal in there, other than Pat, at the moment? Well, you can see Jordan Crane right there. He's the one leading, um, obviously, the, all the defensive messages as defence coach. Um, and he'll be basically driving the guy's mindset a lot this week. So he's been, you know, firing everyone up. And obviously, right now, at this point, it's all about making sure the boys are ready for that physicality. And one of the things that Pat Lamb's spoken about previously is, about, is the fact that they enjoy it, you know, because for some of these guys, it's the closest they'll, they'll come to international. Yeah, and that's the thing. I mean, how are you not going to enjoy what's going to be, hopefully, an amazing occasion with such a huge crowd here? It's going to be really exciting for those players. Yeah, it will. I can, I, I can see they are about to do their final run as they uh, tape around the pitch. And, and we, I think we can probably hear a bit of the noise from the crowd as it's filling up with just uh, under 10 minutes to go. Do you hear that as you do that final parade around the corners? Yeah, and, it, and just before the guys go into the sheds to put their shirts on, it's, you know, it's that last minute opportunity to really kind of build the, the atmosphere here for the guys and, you know, get ready for what's going to be a great time. So, um, you know, as you come on here, you probably start to hear the crowd go, and this is the, quite a, a nice time as a player to really feed off that energy.
Yeah, you can see Joe Joyce having a word with a few of the players. I think he's chatting to Callum Sheedy, is that next to him? He's just slightly hidden by Jake Keenan, I think. As the it yeah, yeah. So, um, and obviously, you see some of our, our, our key leaders there, right at the front. You know, they're the ones that are going to be driving the game plan for us today. So, all of those guys there, you know, they're going to be as they go into the sheds now. They're probably going to be delivering the last few messages about the game plan. But it's all from here on. It's all about mindset. Well, there we go. Uh, last final messages. Who better to get a final message from on a very proud evening this evening for Bristol Bears? That uh, we caught up with Director of Rugby, Pat Lamb. I think when you look at this game and where South Africa is as world champions, they have every reason to be at their best. I always remember when we were sort of averaging eight, nine, ten thousand at the beginning when I arrived here and and when we got to ten, Steve said yeah, there should be more, and then we got to fourteen, should be more. But to bring South Africa here and the response from all the supporters, ours in particular, is huge for our community, it's huge for what we're trying to do, it's huge for our vision. We're just so thankful so many are coming, but we also now know we're responsible to ensure that our fans get the energy from what we do on the field. We're fortunate we've got guys in this team that have uh, international experience, have played at this level. You know, they're going to be a source of comfort, a source of um, you know, inspiration and help for a lot of the guys who are going out there who may not have experienced this sort of thing. And, and we'll rely on them, but ultimately they'll also rely on the energy that the guys who will be pumped and excited to play in this sort of game, um, they'll be relying on them as well. So all in all, the most important thing is that we're one team as the Bears, giving it everything for our community. It's funny, it's been like a little bit like the Barbarians uh, this week because we've only got a short preparation time. We know that like an in international rugby, you're going to have to fight for every inch of the game. You're going to have to own it and earn the win. Um, and this is what the ultimate battle is like. This is what you, why you play rugby for, to get these opportunities to go toe-to-toe you know, -to -toe with the world champions at home in front of an unbelievable crowd. Toe to toe indeed with the world champions. Well, just a few minutes to go until kick off. You can, of course, uh, continue to watch the action on Bears TV, but if you're watching on our social platforms, we say goodbye to you. Buy a Bears TV match pass now to follow all the in game coverage as we count down to our kickoff. And I will hand you over to our commentary team for this evening Bears hooker Will Capon.